These are the men the police believe carried out Tuesday's attacks. In the center of the image is Ibrahim al bakrawi a known criminal who carried out the suicide bombing in Brussels airport. The police operation to identify and apprehend those behind the bombings has taken them to the Anderlecht district of the capital. Officers have searched multiple locations in Brussels since the attacks took place. On Wednesday, prosecutors gave a news conference in which they described what evidence they'd gathered. The third suspect is still on the run. He had a big bag which contained some explosives. After the authorities came in, they found the explosives. Luckily, nobody has been wounded or injured. There was a taxi driver who told the police that he had carried passengers who he thought had the explosives. Belgians are now marking three days of mourning. At midday, a minute's silence was observed. Wednesday's front pages reflect the emotions of many people. Some headlines speak of the horror of the bombings, others of the day that all had feared. Some parts of the transport system have now reopened with heavy security presence. At this metro station, passengers spoke of their concerns. It would be very important that uh, everybody uh, speaks together. Uh, uh, that's, that's, uh, we cannot, we, there is no solution without speaking together. It was indeed a very strange day with all that happened yesterday and I think everybody is feeling the same now but you know we do what we can do and we'll get there in the end. On a normal weekday this airport would handle more than 650 flights but today there are none. The security forces have sealed off the entire complex and the traffic is severely delayed. Part of a pattern across the city which has seen continued road closures and diversions. The people of Brussels appear to be accepting this imposition stoically. But many are afraid that this high tension and threat to their city is becoming the norm. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera, Brussels.